Ahead of Tuesday's general elections in Kenya, one of the presidential candidates has raised to land over the use of state resources by those in government in order to clinch victory. David Nwari Wahiga of Agano Party, while rising from a meeting with the East Africa Observation Mission to Kenya, led by former president of Tanzania, Jakaya Kikwete, told journalists that there had not been any level playing field in the electioneering process in the country. One, we have raised the whole issue of the fact that uh, uh, the, uh, the campaigning period has not been a level playing field. We've uh, said to him when they do their report and they have occasion to speak to His Excellency the President uh, and to speak to the international community to indicate that state resources were used by some of our competitors. Uh, the Deputy President is still in government. The Right Honourable uh, Prime Minister is supported by His Excellency. And that is not good for democracy. As complaints are coming few hours to the polls, now we see more than 22 million registered voters exercise their franchise at the much anticipated elections. There are four major contenders competing for the presidency at tomorrow's elections. Rita William is a two term deputy president whose political friendship with his current boss has remained strained. He wants to succeed Hihuri Kenyatta as the fifth president of Kenya. Rito is one of the wealthiest men in Kenya. He portrays himself as a champion of the poor and downtrodding, using his humble beginning as once a roadside chicken seller and his religious background as a bait. His campaign has been about an inclusive government propelled by bottom-up economic policies. Raila Odinga is his main challenger he would contest her to be Kenya's president severally without making any headway. But his candidacy has now been endorsed by the outgoing president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Imprisoned for six years without trial under the administration of Daniel Arab Moore for plotting against him in 1982, Odinga hopes to become Kenya's next president. On the left wing is a professor of law, George Wajakoya, who has become a political sensation. He had promised to turn the East African states into a major exporter of marijuana, snake venom, and Ahiana's testicles if elected. He intends to equally hang those convicted of corruption and impose four day working weeks. The fourth candidate, David Unware Wahiga, is a clergy who has jumped on the race to stop Kenyans from voting those he called establishment politicians. He has promised change by ending corruption waste and mismanagement of resources. Aside the presidential election, voters will also go to the polls to vote in governors, members of the National Assembly, senators and members of the county assembly.